and Blessed Name Khan and I'm an Early Childhood Development Practitioner and welcome to the IT to Early Childhood Development Program. Today we're going to be taking a look at the three period lesson. This is where the magic happens when it comes to learning. Now if you want to teach a child anything, you're going to use the three magic steps to do it. Let's use colors for example. So I have some colors here. I've got blue, I've got green and I've got yellow. Okay. So yeah, blue, green and yellow. And if you want to introduce it to a child, how are we going to use the three period lesson, it's called a three period lesson, and how are we going to teach them in a three period lesson so that they understand this work and that they can learn it. And this is where the magic happens. This is the magic steps that you are going to use. Firstly, you'll introduce one card at a time. So, like I said, invite the child, you're learning something. Uh, you're going to say, hi Sarah, how are you doing? We got something exciting to work with. Would you like to work with me and learn with me? The child will be sitting next to you, obviously, on your left hand side. And you're going to say, first it's my turn, then it's your turn, okay? So Sarah will probably be sitting next to you, and you're going to introduce the activities to her one at a time. So, let's just say we were doing colors, okay? It'll be blue, then you'll take the blue card away, then you'll go green, and then you'll go yellow. So using a three-period lesson to actually teach colors. So you introduce it individually and you put the cards one side. Again, you're going to go blue, but this time you leave the card at the top, okay? So it'll be at the top of, your, of, of the table, okay? Then you're going to say yellow, you're going to put the yellow one side. Then you're going to say green, put the green one side. Then you're going to play a game, okay? So this is how the game goes. Now, after you introduce the colors for the second time and you lay them all out, right? Then you're going to get the uh, child to play with you. It's called the gaming stage. This is the gaming stage where you ask them, can you find yellow and put it at, uh, at the top or to the side? So let's just say you ask the child to move it towards the right hand side. Can you find yellow and put it over here? So they'll move the card here. Can you find blue and put it over here? So the child finds blue and put it over here. Can you find green and put it over here? So they move green here. And this game continues. So every time you tell them, can you find the, 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 the yellow and, and move it here? Can you find the green and move it here? Can you find the blue and move it here? They'll move the card around. Then you'll bring it back into the original stage in which you introduce it. So if you introduce blue first, you'll tell them, can you find blue? You put it back in its order. Can you find green? Put it back in the order that you introduce it. Can you find yellow? And then you'll stop there. Now you're going to do a testing stage. In the testing stage, now that it's in order, you're going to test randomly. That means you're not going to start with the color you introduced first. You'll start with any random color and you'll say, can you tell me what this color is? Can you tell me what that color is? Can you tell me what this color is? So you're going to test randomly to see if they know the colors, okay? In this testing stage now, if the child does not know the colors, right, let's just say you ask, can you tell me what this color is, and they were not sure, they said it's yellow or, or blue, then you know that they don't know the colors and you will have to reintroduce this activity on another day. Only when they get it right in the stage here, let's just say the child guessed this was green, blue, and yellow, then you're going to introduce one new color. So let's just say I did blue and I did green and I did yellow. So you're going to take one card out, one card out and you're going to keep two known and introduce one unknown. So your unknown card can be probably like the color red. Okay, so you always keep two known cards for the next time that you're introducing and you will take out one unknown. Okay, I can give you an example. Let's just play the card quickly. And I'll keep box. Yes, brown. Wow. Just so you guys can understand this. So, I'm saying that the child knew all the colors in the testing stage. The next time you do this activity, you're taking out the blue card. Blue card goes out, you bring in yellow. I mean, you bring in brown. And then you'll introduce brown again. You'll introduce green again. You introduce yellow. So, you always keep two known cards and you bring in one unknown. Right? And then again... Let's just say the kid learned all these colors. Again, the kid learned all the colors. So what you're going to do? Let's take out green. Let's bring in uh, another card. So two known colors, one unknown color every time that you teach. So it reinforces the learning. And this is how we teach uh, a three-period lesson. Okay, so go ahead and practice learning colors using the three-period lesson.